Hi guys, my name is Bailey Sarian, and last week I did a haul, oh sorry, a wig haul video um, where I tried on a bunch of different wigs that I got. As you know, if you've been following me, I have been wearing wigs a lot lately. That's because I don't really have hair due to a um, chemical cut from a stylist. So I've been wearing wigs and these are fairly inexpensive wigs and I'll link down below my wig haul video if you wanna see the different like varieties I got. But the number one question I get from you guys is how do I make my wigs look more natural? As you know, if you have tried wigs, they can look really bulky, they can look really wiggy. So I'm gonna show you what I do. So this is my example wig, I just got her. Her name is Denise and she was $20, so it's another cheap wig. So when you first get it out of the bag, it has like really tight curls. So I take my wet pro brush. I really like this brush for my wigs and I brush out all of the, the curls to make them a little bit more loose. You don't wanna use a normal hairbrush because sometimes it can make it really frizzy and also lose the curl. So make sure to get like a wig friendly brush. So this one works really well. And I also have this one, which is called Sheila Stotts. I honestly like that wet brush better than this one. I don't know why though yet. I brush out all the curls, get her nice and loose. And then now I, I wanna cut off the lace. So technically you're supposed to put the wig on and then you wanna cut the lace and follow your natural hairline. I just cut the lace, I just go for it because I always leave out my natural hair anyways and it looks more natural. But if you want, put the wig on and then follow your hairline. So I'm just taking a little uh, pair of scissors and I'm gonna cut the lace off. This part is always hard for me because I tend to cut the hair. You don't wanna cut the hair, just the lace. So I cut off all of the lace, so now there's nothing there. Inside these wigs, on most wigs, they have a bunch of little, it's so hard to see, little teeth in here. So these help keep the wig in, make it feel like nice and snug. So you don't have to worry about using um, like bobby pins or anything to pin it in. I put my hair back in a wig cap. I use bobby pins to pin my little hair down. A lot of people say when they have longer hair, they do like a low ponytail. Since I have really short hair, I just kind of like pinned it back and it works. A lot of the times these cheap wigs can come really shiny, so I wanna get rid of that shine. So I take a dry shampoo, this one is by IGK, and, but you can use any dry shampoo. I've even used baby powder or translucent powder. I'm just gonna spray the wig to mattify it. So there are these elastic bands in here with a little adjuster where you can take it off and kind of pin it how do I explain this? There are a bunch of little holes right here. You take the elastic band and then you can make wig cap smaller. So if it's a smaller head, it fits a lot more snug. It's hard to see cause it's black, but it's in there. So you can adjust those straps if you have a smaller head and you wanna make it nice and snug. I have a really big head and um, everything fits really tight on me. Put the wig over the cap. And then this one has a side part. So I'm twisting her to the side and then grabbing the teeth and sliding it through my hair. If I leave it like this, I personally feel like it looks very wiggy. So I always pull out my hair. So normally I would take a comb, but I forgot a comb. I'll pull out my hair so I could get a more natural hairline. And I do this with all of my wigs. And then a lot of times I do like my little behind the ear thing. So my hair is kind of like a reddish brown and if I get black wigs or brown wigs or blonde, whatever, and I pull my hair out, you can obviously see it. So what I was doing for a while, you know those root sprays you can buy at CVS or beauty supply stores, and it's made to cover up gray hair. You spray it on your roots, it like sprays a little color in there, and it hides your gray hair until you get it done. So I was using a root spray to just spray my hair to match the wig. I was finding that it was like smearing on my face or transferring because it, a lot of them are not waterproof and I'm a very sweaty person. I don't know what it is, but I'm always like really hot. So I found this other one. This is by Wolf. I don't know if it's Wolfie or Wolf. Wolf Cosmetics and what these are, are like little alcohol activated makeup. It's usually made for face paint, but there is a palette called, it's a hair palette and it's different shades of like colors of hair. These are the best, the alcohol based face makeup is really waterproof. It'll stay put all day. So if you're sweating like I do, um, or if you touch your hair a lot, 
you're not gonna rub off that root spray. With this one, like I'm gonna take the brown and mix a little bit with the black. You take some alcohol or water, but I would say use alcohol so it doesn't transfer or come off and you spray a little pod. On the end of my angled brow brush, I have a little spoolie or a mascara wand. It will work really well. I just dip it into the, the product. I'm mixing the two together because I want a nice like brown black. And then just brush it right through the hair. You can also use this to fill in your hairline. I know a lot of girls use eyeshadow, but sometimes that can come off as well. And then this stuff is very easy to get out uh, when you wash your hair or even like soap water. I carry wet ones with me, boop, and this will take it right out as well. So it's not like difficult to get out of your hair. To get like my scalp and whatnot, I'll use the angle uh, brush to get in the smaller parts. I always end on a high note and I really gotta stop doing that. People think I'm asking questions all the time. Look at me and my thick hairline. I took a $20 wig and made it look like a $30 wig. So that, my friends, is how I make my wigs look natural. Like I was saying, get a root spray if you cannot find these palettes. I'll link it down below. They run about $30 for 12 different shades, but it's definitely worth it if you're gonna be wearing wigs a lot because you can use like the purples and the pinks and stuff if you're doing more colorful wigs. I hope you have a really good day today. Make good choices and I'll see you guys later. Bye.